Scientists believe a tiny race of tiny Homo sapiens nicknamed hobbits were wiped out by modern humans. Excavations of a limestone cave on the Indonesian island of Flores uncovered a three foot tall skeleton, with a skull one third the size of a normal human. Researchers discovered the bones of nine such people, the youngest of which dates back 12,000 years. They also found tools and other signs of civilization. The new study dated layers of volcanic ash and calcite directly above and below the fossils. The bones range in age from around 100,000 to 60,000 years old. Stone tools in the cave used by the hobbits are from 190,000 to 50,000 years old. On September 6, 2003, Indonesian archaeologist Wayu Saptomo was overseeing the excavation of Sector 7. This was at Lingboa. Benjamin Torres, one of the locally hired workers, was excavating the 2 by 2 meter square, when all of a sudden the top of a skull began to reveal itself. Six meters beneath the surface of the cave, Saptomo immediately joined Benjamin, and the two of them slowly and carefully removed some of the sediment from around the top of the skull. Saptomo then inspected the excavation portion of the skull. The skull was said to have definitely belonged to a hominin and most likely that of a small child. This was due to the size of its brain case. After several days, enough of the cranium and mandible had been exposed for them to realize this was no small child. Instead, all of its teeth were permanent, meaning this was a fully grown adult. The most comprehensive study of the bones of Homo floensensis, a species of tiny human discovered on the Indonesian island of Flores in 2003, has found they most likely evolved from an ancestor in Africa and not from Homo erectus as has been widely believed. The study by the Australian National University found Homo floresiensis, dubbed the hobbits due to their small stature, were most likely a sister species of Homo habilis, one of the earliest known species of human found in Africa 1.75 million years ago. Data from the study concluded there was no evidence for the popular theory that hobbits evolved from the much larger Homo erectus, the only other early hominid known to have lived in the region with fossils discovered on the Indonesian mainland of Java. Study leader Dr. Debbie Argue of the ANU School of Archaeology and Anthropology said the results should help put to rest a debate that has been hotly contested ever since the hobbits were discovered. The analyses show that on the family tree, Homo floensinsis was likely a sister species of Homo habilis. It means these two shared a common ancestor. Professor Mike Lee of Flinders University in the South Australian Museum said the following, We can be 99% sure that it's not related to Homo erectus, and nearly 100% chance it's not a malformed Homo sapiens. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.